Hey, it's Ryan with this week's Mille Lacs Fishing Report. It's the end of March and we still have a lot of ice fishing to go. We get started with travel on the lake. Most of the ice roads are shut down. If you have a vehicle that you're trying to get out with, I think it's going to be tough to get out here. You might be able to check in the bays, you might be able to get in the bays there, but as far as getting out into the main lake, I think it's kind of over for the season. Now, if you have a four-wheeler or a snowmobile or a side-by-side, -side, the lake is pretty wide open to you. There's plenty of snow out here still. There are also pockets of slush. So if you have wheels, you're gonna to have to be mindful of that. But I think if you're careful, you can still get around. If you have tracks such as a snowmobile or tracks on your side-by-side, -side, you can get around wherever you want out here and the lake is wide open. So the perch and the tulipy are the two main things going right now. And both of those are biting pretty well. What I've noticed is the perch seem to be going most days the tulipy are a little bit spottier, but it's a lot better than last year, and it seems like when they are on, you can get quite a few of them pretty quick. The tulipy are running big, and I'm seeing a lot of fish in that pound and a half to two pound range, so the size quality on the tulipy is excellent. As far as the perch, we're catching a lot of fish in that 9 to 11 inch range is what we're keeping. We're occasionally seeing some 12s, and every once in a while we get a big one, a 13. So. The perch are good, uh, they're delicious, and they continue to bite out here. Now, I've been talking to some people that are doing a little bit better by shore than they were earlier this season, and I think that bite's gonna continue to improve. I've checked out some areas along deeper rocks and some areas off of deeper rocks on that 30-foot range today, and I had some limited success, but when I came back out to the flats where I've been spending most of my time this season, I still found a ton of fish. So there's a lot of perch out here. There's a lot of tulipy. You'll find them mixed together in areas. The areas on the flats that I'm doing best on are gonna be on points or corners of flats. Those seem to be the best spots to set up. But a lot of times you're gonna find them just off the edge in that 30, 32 foot of water. Earlier this season, midwinter, 34 foot of water was doing best for me. I found times where I'm finding the fish in 26 to 28, but that 30, 32 foot has definitely been the most consistent recently. As far as techniques, same old. A little gold tungsten jig or a glow or a bright colored tungsten jig work really well out here. A little five millimeter jig loaded up with spikes. It's a great way to catch perch. It's also a great way to catch tulipy. Don't have to do anything fancy. I would say less is more as far as jigging for them. Just a little quiver about 18 inches off the bottom. Don't jig too aggressive. Just kind of quiver it up there and slowly rise it off the bottom. That's what's working best. You'll find that some days they're being a little bit more finicky and just won't go for it. So what I like to do is lift it up high above their heads and then drop it right into the mud. And I don't drop it with my rod tip. I like to open up the bale and let that bait free spool and plop right into the mud. It's a great way to get those fish to re-engage and get them to come back and take another look at your bait. Works excellent, especially on the perch. Same thing goes for the tulipy. Little gold tungsten jig works wonders on those. Load it up with spikes, you'll get plenty of tulipy doing that. Sometimes you'll see the tulipy are a little bit higher off the bottom. Some days they'll be right down by the bottom with the perch. But either way, little gold tungsten jig gets them most days. Another rig that I like to use out here that works really well for tulipy is a flasher rig. And basically what a flasher rig is, is it's a spoon just uh, with about a six inch dropper above a little jig or a little, little ice fly, something like that. But you just load that jig or fly up with bugs, you keep it below that silver spoon, and what you do is you drop it down a few feet off the bottom and then you just kind of jig the spoon. And what you're doing is you're getting that spoon to flash and it creates a lot of flash and that's, that's really attractive to the tulipy. So they'll come in for a ways, see that flashing going on, they're drawn to that, they come in and then they see that little ball of bugs underneath the flash and then they come and eat the bugs. So between a little tungsten jig and the flasher rig, that's about all you need to do to get the tulipy out here. Another thing that works well on the perch is just a plain hook and a minnow. It's tough to beat it on some days. I haven't had a lot of luck with it so far yet this season. Earlier this season when the perch were coughing up perch, we were catching some fish on the plain hook and minnow. Through mid-season, I noticed the perch were coughing up bugs. I didn't see them coughing up many perch and the minnow wasn't working really well on them then. But now recently, like just today, I'm noticing that more perch are coughing up perch again. So. 
the minnow is probably going to become a play. I'm going to start putting those back down here going forward with the rest of the season. I think that uh, a lot of times when you have a minnow down, that's when you catch your biggest perch. So the minnow is also a third technique that's always good to keep off to the side and maybe pick up a jumbo. So a little recap on what's working well out here. What's working best for me is going out to the mud flats, fishing the edges where the edges kind of meet up with a point or a corner of a flat using a little tungsten jig in about 30, 32 feet of water, load it up with bugs, jiggle it about 18 inches off the bottom, don't jig it too aggressive, and uh, you'll find fish doing that. If you don't find them in the first spot, go to a couple different areas, try a, def try a couple different areas, and you'll definitely find perch out here, and usually with the perch you find the tulabee, and we've got a lot of ice fishing to go yet this season, so might as well take advantage of it because the weather should only be getting better from here on out. So hopefully these tips help you out and have a great weekend.